Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the Astrological Update for Scorpio for two weeks from the 26th of December to the 8th of January. Interesting things happening this week. On the one hand, you feel a bit pulled this way and that way and not sure what you want to do. Do you want to be good? Do you want to be bad? Do you want to be free or do you want to be committed? But you are generally feeling quite optimistic after the beginning of the week. At the beginning of the week, as I say, anything could happen. You're, you're kind of feeling slightly, a little bit nervy, a little bit tense, a little bit like you want something to happen, but you don't know if you do. It's a, it's a few days of contradictions surging through you. After that, though, we've got Mercury sextile Mars, your friend, your dear friend Mars, in a great position. So you're feeling, even though Mercury's going backwards, going retrograde, perhaps you hook up with someone from the past. Could even be a, a sort of sensual or romantic liaison or connection and you're sort of laughing and joking and feeling good about yourself, feeling very confident about your sensuality, your creative abilities and your romance at the moment. And even if you're single, you've got this feeling that you're confident on a brand new level. So that's a great energy to have over the next two weeks. Mars is conjunct Neptune, making you romantic and you want to feel things on a deep level, but it's slightly, light, slightly lighter than you normally feel. So if you're getting any psychic messages, they're hopeful ones, they're optimistic ones. You're not seeing doom and disaster. You're seeing wonderful potential. You're predicting great and hopeful things for yourself. Then we have Venus changing signs and hurrah, it's going into your position of soulmate, sensuality, children, playfulness, joy, um, creativity, if I said that. And so you're able to open up your heart in the world and feel very loving and generous of spirit and kind and compassionate for yourself and other people okay mercury is retrograde so of course we all have to think about what we say and it changes on the ninth so not long to go now and then your ruler pluto joins forces with the sun in your position of communication you could say something incredibly powerful but again word of caution with mercury retrograde because whatever you say and however you present yourself it's going to be quite a lasting thing it's going to create a shift and a change. So open yourself up to your psychic intuition and your awareness and really make sure that your intuition and your hunches and your mind and your soul all agree with whatever you're about to say that will bring about this change. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. I'd love to say a really big thank you to everybody that voted for me in the Soul and Spirit Awards. I was blown away by the response and I'm really humbled and touched to tell you that I won Best Love Psychic, Best Loved Astrologer and Best Spiritual Website. So thank you so much. As you may know, it's not easy to get a reading with me. I do them very sporadically, but I have a fantastic team of psychics who are brilliant. Here's a little one minute, because I know you've, some of you have complained about it being too long, one minute video about them. I like to class a reading as an oasis for the soul. I like to think that it's a very individual a feeling. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves. Time out where we can really spoil ourselves. But they're still quite shocked when you give them very accurate information. When I get validations, it's amazing. I feel integrity is a huge part of it for me because without that, I wouldn't be doing this work. It's about guidance. It's about hope. It's helping people have clarity, I think. I love that light bulb moment. When I finish work, I come off the phone and it's like, yeah, I've made a little bit of a difference. It's heartfelt to hear when I read for a client. I love making a difference to people's lives.